Hi, it's Rob. Welcome to the next video in the AWS IoT playlist where we'll use the AWS SDK to implement device-to-device -device communication between our fleet of trucks. We'll start out by looking at the demo3 JavaScript file I've included in the GitHub repo in the truck1 and truck2 folders. Of course, we start out by requiring the IoT device SDK. We've created the constant for the endpoint, and also we created a variable for the destination device name, which defaults to truck1. And if the device name, which is obtained by doing a split on the current folder, which in this case is truck1, is equal to truck1, then we'll change the destination device name to truck2. And this will allow communication between the two trucks. Here we're creating some constants for the messaging and the keys and certificates. When reading console input, we'll call the publish to IoT topic function, passing it the topic and the message. The publish to IoT topic function will call publish on the device, passing it the topic and the payload. And when the device connects, it'll subscribe to the topic. So now if we jump into the terminals for truck one and truck two and run demo three in both terminals, here I'm prompted in the terminal for truck one to send a message to truck two. But because truck two isn't online yet, it hasn't received the message. So I'll go ahead and start the app here. and send a message over to truck one. Now truck one in Seattle has received a message from truck two in New York. And truck two has received a message from truck one. So that's a wrap on this short video on inter-device communication using the AWS IoT SDK. In the next video, we'll build a web page hosted in an S3 bucket, which will interact with truck one's shadow. I hope you're excited and I hope to see you there. And if you've been following along with this series, you know the drill. If you're finding this information informative, please consider liking the videos and subscribing to the channel. Thanks for watching.